What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow Walkthrough. Okay, so yeah, in our last episode, we went through Lavender Town, found some ghosts, rested a little soul, not sent it to the Shadow Realm, and now, here we are in Celadon City, because we're going to take a small side quest to Saffron, and that is because, well, we need to get the gates open to everything, okay? So now... I do remember one little thing, and that is that I forgot to show you guys the department store right here in Celadon, and uh, well, what a better time to do so right here. Uh, I do believe there is an individual right here that will give you a TM, but you can also get water to actually help out uh, specific people. Now, if you talk to this guy, oh, hi, I finally finished Pokemon. Oh, not yet. This might be useful. And there we go. We got the TM-18. I believe it's counter, right? Yes. Not like the one I'm leaning on, mind you. Okay. All right. Let's go right here. And this area right here, you'll actually see as the department store where you can actually buy some elemental stones. As you can see, you get yourself a Pokedoll, Firestone, Thunderstone, Waterstone, and Leafstone. And yes, obviously, I'm going to be using a Pokemon with the Leafstone and all that crud. But I still needed to learn a few good moves before we do that. And, well, here we are in the very... We're going to be going to the very top right here. And it doesn't really matter what you get. But if you get fresh water, which I'm going to get two of them. I'm actually going to get two of them. Two fresh waters, a soda pop, and a lemonade. You'll be able to get three different kinds of uh, TMs right here. So let's go right ahead and do that. Good thing for us is that I actually... I actually put uh, some items away, sold some items... And there we go. Look at that. Okay, so now talk to this individual right here, not Pikachu. My sister is a trainer, believe it or not. But she's so immature, she drives me nuts. You don't say. Okay, all right, let's talk to this girl. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Give her a drink, yes. Let's go ahead and give her a fresh water. And with the fresh water, you'll be able to give, uh, you'll be able to get the TM13, which I believe is Ice Beam, right? Yes, it is. A very, very powerful move right there. Now, let's go ahead and go with the next move. Yes, let's go ahead and give her a Soda Pop right here. And we get ourselves the TM48, which is Rock Slide. And then, now, if you give her another drink, which would be a Lemonade, you'll actually get yourself the TM49, and that contains Tri-Attack. Now, let's see. There's one more thing that we need to do. That way we can actually finish everything off. And that is going right around here and talking to this individual again because I do remember something right here, and that is if you buy yourself a Poke Doll, it will work for another thing too. So they, Oh, wow, we can't carry anything else. Jeebus, cramity. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and Max Potion is going to be useful later on. You know what? Let's go give away the Max Potion or the Hyper Potion. And get the Poke Doll right here. Okay, alrighty, so that's that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward to the entrance to Saffron City. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are in the entrance to Saffron City. Now, you can go either north, east, south, or west to do this. So let's go straight ahead right here. And if you go into the entrance area, he's going to be like, Whoa, boy, I'm parched. Dot, 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 dot. Huh, I can have this drink? Gee, thanks. And just like that, glug, 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 loop, glug, loop. If you want to go to Saffron City, you can go on uh, through. I'll share this with the guys or the other guards. So there you go. Look at this. Alrighty. So here we are, guys, in Saffron City. Now, there's still a lot of things that we can actually do. And that is, we can actually go straight to the Silphco right now if we wanted to. And, uh, yeah, do a lot of things right here. But what we're going to do first is actually we're going to go straight to this young lady right here. Hopefully. I don't even know. Hmm. It kind of takes a while. I don't know. We're going to go right here. And if you go to this house, of course, this is going to be... Yeah, this this is going to be locked because there's a Team Rocket member right here. Sephiroth belongs to Team Rocket. So, just when you think you're done with uh, all these guys... They're still around here now. The gym is right here. You can't go through this one. But we are going to be going into that gym, and that is the Fighting Dojo. So let's go right ahead and uh, skip that for the time being and talk to this. And this is Mr. Psychic's house. Now, if you go in here and talk to this individual, he's going to be like, Wait, 
Don't say a word. You wanted this. We get ourselves the TM29, which is psychic. Now, I could teach that to my Ultra Cycle right now, but it will learn it eventually. And uh, right now, I'm not trying to not, not trying to teach you anything right now with the with this with the psychic attack right here. So, let's see. There's a few things that we need to do, and that is uh, we need to actually defeat the the fighting dojo. So this is where Ultra Cycle will thrive. Now. There is a bit of a downside to it, and that is that the, most of these Pokemon are going to be at the level, around the level 30s and above. So, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, let's go right ahead and just battle them, okay? I did say this is going to be a side quest of some sort, so let's go right ahead and just take care of Bidmith right here. Go straight up and look at this. Okay, we're going to be going here to the Fighting Dojo. Now, let's see. Ultra Psycho. Now, I could use Godzilla Godzilla if it were a Charizard, but we don't have that kind of firepower just yet. So, we're going to get the Strategic Magic right here. Bring it! hoo You're trespassing in our fighting dojo! Hmm. Okay. Alright. Bring it. Just bring it. Okay. So, here we go. We're taking on a Black Belt, and it's coming out with a Machop right here. And, well, we are under level, like I said, so we're going to be going straight for a Psybeam. We're going to destroy everybody. Just with Ultra Psycho, and just like that, Machop has been defeated. Oh my god, look at that. Okay, now these guys are going to be coming out with a bunch of Fighting-type Pokemon. Do realize this, that Fighting-type Pokemon do hit a lot, and they do hit hard. And if you have a, if you have a Kadabra, Alakazam... Just remember their physical defense is very frail, okay? Just because they're fighting type Pokemon doesn't mean they can uh, they cannot hit it hard and all that stuff. So there we go, another side beam, and just like that, here comes the Fury Swipes. And this one right here is going to mess us up just a tad bit. Okay, two, three, and there we go, side beam for the win. Say goodbye to Primeape. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, and well, Ultra Psycho. Level 29 or 28, and well, he gives up right here. Okay, let's go right ahead and mess with uh, something just a bit. Okay, we haven't used Sir Razor in quite some time, so bring it. I hear you good. Show me. I mean, you've only been, you've only seen one battle. Okay, so how could you know that I'm really really good? Oh, it's because I've been here like 20,000 times and all that stuff. So here we go, taking on a matchup. And, uh, well, here we go with uh, Sir Razor. Let's go straight for a Sleep Powder, and it does not affect this Pokemon. So, yes, we are in trouble right now with that Karate Chop. So, let's go Sleep Powder, and there we go. Yes, the Wrath of Sir Razor is coming right here, and let's go with a Mega Drain. And that takes a little bit of its HP. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to use Growth. And I'm going to power this Pokemon up right here. And the X attack right here is going to mess us up just a little bit. So now it's a good time to actually use a special. And look at that. We take a nice chunk out of this Pokemon's HP. So I think with one more Mega Drain, it can actually, actually, it can actually help us a little bit more. And nearly defeat this guy. And, well, let's go right ahead for a Vine Whip attack. Let's not waste... Yes, let's not let, let's not waste our uh, our vine whips or, or our mega drain. So here comes a Machoke, and this guy is looking uh, very boof as he as can be. They're gonna be using Leer attack, and yes, look at that. We're putting it to sleep right here. Let's go with the growth attack right here, so we can actually uh, you know increase our, our our special just a little bit more because we're taking on a buff Begwell itself right here. So let's go with a, a mega drain and. The Mega Drain hits it pretty hard right there, so let's go straight for a Vine Whip. This Machoke is still asleep, and, well, look at this. Vine Whip attack again, and here comes a Vine Whip after Machoke has woken up, and, well, let's go straight for a Mega Drain just in case, and, well, you kind of wasted a few moves right there, so Sir Razor. Kick a butt, taking names. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that, and, well... There goes Black Belt, and he's like, Judge, one point. Huh. So it looks like we can actually beat these guys. Okay, so you know what? Let's go ahead and switch to Aaliyah. 
Okay, it might be a bad idea, but it could be a good idea. So here we go. Nothing to fr frightens me. I bring boulders for training. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Okay, bring it. Okay. So, here we go. Take it on a black belt. He has one Pokemon, and that is a Primeape. Now, this guy, level 36. Let's go right ahead and... Wow. Okay, so... Yeah. Holy bejeebus. And that Fury Swipes is going to hit us pretty hard right there. So, three times. And now it's paralyzed right here. And, yes, we're going to be using uh, a lot of strategic uh, moves right here. So, let's go straight for a Super Potion. Alright, bring it. And a Rage Attack is going to hit us. And that was a critical hit. So, we're not going to hit this guy right now because, unfortunately, if we don't hit this guy, it won't. In its attack won't increase. And just like that, we're going to make it so hard for it to actually hit us. Look at that. The real life Ash, ca Ash Ketchum kicking some butt, taking some names. So let's go right ahead and make him, make him try and hit us. Look at that. Okay, so the evasion is up. And there goes one more rage attack. And it was another critical hit. So let's go ahead. Yes, yeah, save this Pokemon for another 50 points. And, well, it missed. So it's time to hit it. Thunderbolt attack for the win. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And its attack has increased, so that right there is going to be a little bit harder. So there we go. Another another Thunderbolt, and uh, yes, that Rage is in tech. Oh yeah, that Rage is uh, going up, so it was a little bit of a risk right there. So there you go, Thunderbolt for the win. Say goodbye to Primeape, and Aaliyah has won. Yeah, you stubbed her fingers! Okay, alrighty. We got one more guy to go, and uh, well, let's go right ahead and use Torpedo. Let's give a, let's give all the other Pokemon some loving right here. Okay, so bring it. Huh, take your shoes off. Okay, alrighty, take the shoes off. Let's go right ahead and see what these shoes or take the shoes off will do. So here comes Mankey, and well, Torpedo is gonna be a little faster than this Pokemon. So let's go straight for the. Oh God. Okay, so it's a little faster than us. Bubbly Beam will actually uh, take it down a notch. And, uh, well, it didn't do that, so it's going to try and focus its energy again. Alrighty, so Bubbly Beam nearly beats it, and here comes a Fury Swipes attack. And that right there is going to be hitting us pretty hard. And, well, Torpedo is going to. Yeah, Torpedo is just like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be hit. It's going to be getting hard, hit hard for four attacks right there. And Bubbly Beam for the win. And there we go, 25, level 25 for Torpedo. And, well, we're going to be taking on another Banky. Let's go straight for another, uh, whatchamacallit, Bubbly Beam. And unfortunately, yeah, we're going to be get, getting hit by Fury Swipes again. So here we go, Bubbly Beam. And that right there lowers its speed, so let's go ahead and use a Super Potion. So, you know, I think, I, I think I'm starting to get why you guys like like the, the under level thing so much because we're using a little bit more strate uh, strategy right here and that's what I'm you know I like doing it's just you know I kind of want to get the walkthrough done and all that stuff so it's probably a great thing and well there's a the speed going down again and well let's go right ahead water gun for the win eat it dragon rage or not dragon rage but you know Mankey has been defeated and this guy is going to be coming out with a Primeape. Now, this is going to be a little difficult because Primeape is a pretty strong Pokemon. And, well, that Fury Swipes attack is a doozy of a move. And, well, there's three. Damn, we're getting hit a lot. So, here we go, Bubbly Beam. Bam. And the speed has fallen. So, let's go right ahead and use a Smoke Screen attack. And, crud. There we go. Critical hit. So, this Primeape was really ready. So let's go straight to Aaliyah. Let's go. Thunderbolt attack. For the win. And nearly defeats the Primeape. And here comes another Karate Chop. Holy bejeebus. Stay, stay. Ooh. Critical hit. And, well, point set and match. Aaliyah. She survives. And, well, this guy is like, I give up. Okay, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon since they've already done their jobs right here. Let's go right ahead and revive 
Let's revive Torpedo just for this occasion, just in case we need to do something. And, you know, it's never too it's never too bad to actually heal up your main Pokemon right here, which is Aaliyah. Of course, I'm going to be hearing it from my, my niece later on. So let's go right ahead and do this again. And Ultra Psycho, let's go ahead and heal you. All right, time to bring it. <sighs> Lexi. Grunt! I am the Karate Master. I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us. Expect no mercy. <laughs> Alrighty. Maximum effort. Let's go. Okay, so here we go, guys. Taking on another Karate uh, Master or Black Belt. He doesn't have a proper title right here. But he's going to be coming out with a Hitmonlee at level 37. And, well... I guess that's the reason why we're doing this. Okay, so here we go. Psybeam for the win. And just like that, Hitmonlee has been defeated. Oh my god. Okay, so what's next? Hitmonchan. Let's go right ahead and go for another Psybeam for the win. The ultimate cheat code. Yes, the ultimate cheat code, Ultra Psycho. And just like that, Hitmonchan has been defeated. Say hello to level 29 for my Pokemon right here. Yes, look at that. Okay, so the Black Belt has been defeated. He's like, huh, I'm beaten. Yes. Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you to do, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prize fighting Pokemon. Choose whichever one you like. So if you guys remember when I made the trade for Torpedo and such other Pokemon, I... Did trade for a Hitmonlee, and I already have it on my Pokédex. As you can see, Hitmonlee, when kicking, the sole of its foot turns hard, as hard as a diamond in an, uh, on impact and destroys its enemy. Since I already have this Pokémon in my Pokédex, I'm going to go with the opposite right here, and I'm going to be going straight for Hitmonchan. So let's go right ahead and, yes, pick the Piston Punching Pokémon. Piston Punching Hitmonchan. And uh, should I give it a nickname? Probably Jackie Chan or something, but we're not going to be using this Pokemon right here. So there's no room in our in our box or, you know, there's no room for our, our Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and take a look at its entry right here for Pokedex. And, well, let's see. I think I passed it already. Okay, so we have both Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. As you can see, Hitmonchan is the punching Pokemon. Punches in corkscrew fashion. It may punch its way through a concrete wall in the same way as a drill. Yeah, that is some pretty strong Pokemon. And like I said before, guys, I am going to complete the Pokedex right here. Um, trust me, it's going to be fun when we actually do all that stuff. But there's uh, side quest number one right there, guys. Side quest number two is probably going to be me going into the Silco, defeating all these trainers. Yes, I do like a challenge, and I think I might as well do that right here. So we're going to stop right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, well, in the next episode, we're going to be going to the Selfco. Going to be doing a lot of things, beating Pokemon trainers and all that crud. It's probably going to be a long-ass episode and all that crud. So, just stay tuned for all that, guys. Again, make sure to subscribe to the push the, or press the subscribe button. Hit the notifications, and if you guys want to make a small donation to the channel, yeah, well, link is right there. So, thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.